Good morning, uh, good evening, everyone. This is the USMLE Sarthi team, and uh, today I have uh, two of our panelists, Dr. Harsh Patel and Dr. Puneet Reddy. Uh, both of them have matched, and obviously they have gone through this journey as as IMGs. Now let's get into the meat of uh, this presentation. The the second question is for those of you who are now preparing for step one. You do know that step one went pass fail starting January 2026 of 2022. So, Praneet, first to you, this is a big change. What are the implications for IMGs uh, for the step one pass fail? You know, step one used to be a big filter for IMGs, mm -hmm. uh, for the programs to consider for interviews and even for electives. Now, what are the implications of this change? Right, Pan. Yeah, I think uh, when programs are getting 5,000, 6,000 applications and when they can only offer 100, 200 interviews, uh, they would definitely like to apply some filters and they would use some objective, subjective criteria. And step exams are, you know, very important objective criteria uh, that programs used. And step one was the biggest filter, like you said. But with that going pass or fail, I think what programs are going to do now is number one, CK, step two CK being the only USMLE exam that is reporting a three digit score, that becomes important. That is going to be the next step one uh, filter, next new filter. Uh, so CK, whatever you can do to score high on CK, that is going to help you immensely. Uh, number two, I would say is step three was not a must. Uh, it was only maybe a few couple of years back, it was most important for ranking. Uh, you know, um, if you had a step three, maybe you would have got ranked higher. But now, uh, you know, even for interviews, even for you to get some of those interview slots, step three uh, is going to help you. So if you have it, it's a cherry on your top of your cake. Yeah. Number three, I would say is the overall application matters now. Uh, it's no more a checklist of USC done, steps done, and, you know, uh, matched. Uh, the other parts of application, like volunteering work, work experience, Research, most importantly, like people tend to have more and more research experience and publication these days. So that is an important way of standing out, showing your dedication and passion for the field. So yeah, research is something that becomes important. And uh, uh, you know, Pavan can tell you more about how Sardi helps in these areas. So yes, I'll, I'll come to research in a minute, but Harsh, uh, you matched at Mayo Clinic and you know, volunteering and community service as, as big in family medicine as well. So do you want to talk a bit about how given step one is going to go past or has gone past fail, the importance of other aspects of the application? Uh, uh, yes, definitely. As Praneet mentioned, uh, now the uh, since the main filter, which used to be the step one is no more, is just a simple pass fail, the programs will be definitely focusing on the other aspects. So starting with step two, the most important, now coming to volunteer work, like the whatever volunteer work you do in your medical school or after you graduate, that's going to be weighing in now. That's what we hopefully believe. And uh, also the research work. Yes, uh, most of the students right now are currently looking for research positions. And uh, with the supply demand gap, the programs are also increasing some uh, like the research positions. They are offering various research options. So yes, the students should be wary about the like opportunities available in the market. They should be focusing early on. Like research is a thing which you cannot just do right two months before the match. That should be a well-planned activity. So for that, I believe you should be planning well ahead, like while you are in your intern year or during your third year, if something in your medical school is coming up, since whatever medical school you are in, there are some research always going on. So starting from that, you get a good idea of how the research work. And now when you come into the USMLE field, if there are uh, various opportunities like we at Sarathi Vipavan will mention that there are research courses which you can enroll and there are other opportunities also. So you have to take uh, your focus uh, on the other aspects of the application. And lastly, uh, with the step one going pass fail, one thing I would suggest is don't waste your time on step one. So initially what happened is student used to spend a wide and intense amount of time on step one since it was the major criteria. 
with now it becoming a pass fail, utilize that time to focus on step two. So just clear your basic, have a good confidence, get done with the step one and then focus on the major bulk, which is step two. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Harsh. I, I think this is an important uh, aspect that how do you now productively use the time which, uh, you know, till last year, people were spending nine months, one year on step one. Uh, now you will have some time left because it's pass fail. How do you productively use it? Uh, of course, on research, I've just texted or, or put in a chat a link. Uh, we now collaborate with Hackensack Palisades uh, uh, program, a residency program, and their director of clinical research, Dr. Simka Weissman, uh, leads our research program. So for those of you who are interested in publications, uh, do look it up. And uh, you know, if you have questions, we run monthly uh, cohorts and batches on on research. So if you are interested, uh, let us know. All right, that was all that we had. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel or on Instagram, and we'll keep you updated on more webinars. So thank you, Harsh. Uh, thank you, Puneet. Uh, this was very very helpful, I think, to the audience, and uh, they gained a lot. So thank you.